Hey folks, um, today's equipment autopsy is the Stark 2 RF signal generator, uh, model RFG-2. Um, this one's not too bad looking on the outside. Display is nice and clear. All your dials and knobs are in place. Everything turns freely. But uh, enough of that. I'll show you the insides. So we got three tubes here and an old paper cap. I believe these tubes are all the same, but I'll have a look. I have had them out and tested them. They are good. Well, that one there, that's a 6X4. I think this one's an, an OB2 or 0. Yeah, it's an OB2. And yeah, uh, that's an O that would be an OB2 as well. Let's put that back in place. It's kind of interesting they got these uh, little clips here that actually hold the tubes in place. Kind of a little bit extra extra security for it or uh, in case this thing gets dropped or gets knocked around the tubes would probably fl um, follow their sockets if it did but that's that's good and uh, we got a little fuse and then it's pretty this is pretty clean see on the bottom we got our uh, main transformer 115 volts in uh, it looks like 180 volts, 180 volts, and 6.3 volts. Well, 6.3 volts would be for to run some of these um, tubes. The 180 volts, I'm not sure. Probably to run the uh, signal generator part of it. I've already taken the screws out of out of this protective box here. Then we've got another tube. We've got a 12BH7. And then we've got uh, this thing. I have no clue. It's a switch of some sort, but why it's uh, got these on it, I don't know. It's the, uh, it's the frequency range switch. And it's obviously wound wire, almost like the the frequency on a uh, you know an old radio. If you ever open an old radio up, you'll see like uh, uh, it's a black rod. I can't remember the material it's made of, but it's it's wound with wires so many turns to get the right frequencies. And I assume this is the same does the same as uh, in the radios. This here, that's actually your tuner. All radios would have one of those. So you tune on your frequency and uh, listen to the tunes. But uh, yeah, other than that, there's not uh, there's not much else on it. It's very clean. Again, just like all the other ones, I will uh, I'll plug it in and I will turn it on. Uh, power, power, power. Here we go. We got our light. See a nice healthy glow on that one. Healthy glow there. Now, if you look carefully at this one, that's 
that one's got a really interesting glow that you can only see from underneath it. It's almost a whitish disc glow on it. And that's the uh, that's the OB2. Quite different from the other ones. I don't I haven't seen many tubes that actually glow that in that way, but it's how it's set up too. And you got your uh, 12 BH7 glow in there in the back, so all tubes do light up. And I can't show you how this one works because uh, I've tried it. It doesn't seem to work, and I haven't figured out why as of yet. So yeah, that's the uh, the Stark 2 RF signal generator. Thanks for watching.